If you're just joining us, my good friend Mark picked me up in his trusty rickshaw to take me to the doctor's office. I hope there's not a long way. Mr. Dorr, the doctor will see you now. Oh, great. Hi. Hi. Who are you? I'm Dr. Ritchie. Good to meet you. You're a doctor? I am. How old are you? 28. Years old? Yeah. You look like you're 12. I get that a lot. <sighs> you're seriously a doctor? Yeah. Okay, where's the heart? It's kind of right in there. Okay, you are a doctor. What do you specialize in? Colonoscopies. Perfect. Yeah. What was it about a stranger's colon that attracted you to the job? It's kind of a fun thing to do. You get to work with your hands. And yeah, you could have been a cabinet maker. That's true. Less poo. Yeah. Right? But you also get the chance to prevent colon cancer. So have you ever found anything weird inside someone? Sometimes. Seriously? Yeah. And what are some of the weirdest things you found? Animals. No, you haven't. Mm. You found an animal inside somebody? Small animals. Like a hawk? No. A dog? No. no. Like, like gerbils? What's a gerbil? It's a little rodent. Like a snake? Nope. No? Very much not like a snake. Like a snake's dinner. How do you get the rodent out? Cheese? Leave cheese at the end of the bum and then it just crawls out? They can't turn around once they're in there. So uh, most of the mice. time you have to pull them back. Have you ever pulled the animal out and it's still alive? Yeah. That's a magic trick. Do you do kids' parties? No. You shouldn't. That's too much. Maybe out of a hat, but never out of a colon. Can we play a game? Yeah. game's called I'm going to name something and you tell me if you've found it in someone's butt. Okay. Pencil. Yes. Sock. Yes. Gargoyle. No. Pencil case. No. Gargoyle case. No. What are some other things you found inside people? Uh, pop bottles. 750 milliliter? Uh, not that big. No, that's pretty big. Um, cans. What kind of cans? Pop cans. Opened or unopened? Uh, both. No, what are you talking about? Who are these people? Yeah, you're pretty calm about talking about this. Yeah. This is a pop bottle inside someone's bum. They must think they're going to die. Yeah. What was their excuse? Apparently he sat on it. There's no way they just sat on this stuff. What do they say when they come in to talk to you? Hey, excuse me, uh, got a pop bottle up my butt. Uh, accident. Most people won't admit that there's something up there. They just say they're having pain. What? There's a pop bottle up my butt? What? Come on. It's true. What other kinds of things have you found inside someone? One time a foil-wrapped baked potato. Get out. You actually found a baked potato inside someone's ass? Yeah. That's not right. How big was the potato? And it was wrapped in foil? Buttered? Bacon bits? Sour cream? Like, how much was in this potato is what I'm trying to say. Cheese? I didn't look. How do you take a potato out of someone's bum? Gently. Right, but with your hands? Just with forceps. But how... Why does the uh, bum hole have to be? It fit the potato in, right? I've been having gut pain, and it comes and goes. And I may not even actually need a colonoscopy, but I'm going to go through with it to show everyone out there it's okay to go to the doctor, and it's okay to have a camera shoved up your butt. So what's the procedure like? It takes about 20 to 30 minutes. That's like the length of our show. Feels longer, I know. So you'll be sedated for it. Am I going to get drugs? Yeah. Cocaine? No. Mushrooms? No. There's Cocaine? No. All right. There's two drugs. What do I do? Go to the bathroom, snort it off the back of the toilet tank? We'll put it in through your IV. Oh, okay. And how's it going to make me feel? It can remove people's inhibitions. Well, what if I confess to some things that I don't want you to know about? There's doctor-patient privilege anyway. What's that mean? It means I won't talk about anything that we've discussed here today with anybody else. What if I blurted out that I stole a car? Would you have to report me? No. No? The only thing I have to report is child abuse. What if I blurt out that I murdered somebody? No. Awesome. What if I said I went to the zoo late at night, murdered a panda, cut off a giraffe's head, and then farted on a kid? That might be child abuse. No. Kid's 14. I always make sure of that. Before I fart on a random kid's head, I always check ID. Always. So what happens next? So what will happen next is I'll probably leave the room. I have to do my own colonoscopy? No, no, oh. no. We'll, oh, you're we'll, going to come back? Yeah, I'll That's step nice out. Yeah. I want you to take everything off. You can leave your socks on if you'd like. Great. So you come back, i got my socks on. Otherwise, I'm completely naked. 
No, we'll give you a gown to wear. Whatever you want, babe. You want me in a gown or just socks? A gown is fine, yeah. Okay, like evening or like strapless back? No. Like, like what, do you, what do you want? Because I haven't put any thought in it. I didn't even buy a dress. We'll give you a hospital gown. Okay. I guess I'll see you in a few minutes. Okay. Okay, thank you. Sorry for being slightly inappropriate. 